a shattered symbol of a cartel that has lost much of the support of the people it says it fights for. Once viewed by many with awe and respect, the cartel has become feared for preying on those it claimed to protect. Extortion, kidnapping, and killing are now the hallmarks of its rule. Jorge Carrasco has reported on the Knights Templar for years. He says they created a new business model for Mexico's cartels. It's remembered as a group that helped people, gave them money, helping a sick family member. So on the one hand, we have the social aspect, but on the other hand now, we see the phenomenon of the extortion and kidnapping. It is not helping the people, but instead extorting them. The Knights Templar also make millions of dollars trafficking drugs, running illegal mines, and running protection rackets. Their network stretches from Mexico to Asia. The cartel was born several years ago after a split between another cartel, La Familia. That followed the reported killing of La Familia's cult-like leader, Nazario Moreno. His body was never found. Many believe he is still alive. Others venerate him as a saint. The Knights Templar's leaders shrouded themselves in the mythology of ancient Christian warriors. While paying homage to medieval knights, the cartel has taken on more modern tactics. Its reputed leader, Servando Gomez, is an ex-school teacher who still says he is waging a war for the citizens of Michoacan. I represent the Knights Templar, and our intention is to ensure our fellow inhabitants of Michoacan can live in peace. That is a harder sell these days. Many across the state have been touched by the cartel's violence. For the past year, the cartel has been in a pitched battle with vigilante groups who say they took up arms because the government left them helpless. Now the government has sent in thousands of soldiers to disarm the vigilantes and take back territory controlled by the cartel. After years in which violence has raged across the state of Michoacan, authorities here in Mexico City want to show that they ultimately have the control to rein in groups there in what has been a lawless land. Wishful thinking, perhaps, for a state where impunity and violence have reigned for so long. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.